Hello and welcome to the Sod One YouTube channel. My name is Ray, and in this video, Spot Micro Part Twenty Seven. Um, I'm having to go through and recalibrate all my servos again. So one of the issues we have is we really do need very accurate positioning of the servos. Uh, one degree of error in the position of, say, the arm servo while the wrist is at 180 degrees, so full extended. And that gives you, you know, close to 300 mil of, of distance. And that can be quite a large uh, error in our positioning. So as an example, if I go to our front left arm and we bring it straight down to 90 degrees, so it's facing straight down. We go to our wrist, front left, and take it to 180 degrees, which is all the way down. And I have got a ruler here and a laser marker on it so you can see where it is. Let's line it up with say, 20 millimeters. And we move the front left shoulder, which is currently at 90. Let's say we move it the well let's, there's 91 so I'll just go back from the rest position so that's near enough center of the pad on the laser marker at 20 mil move one degree and we've moved five mil so it's a five millimeter positional difference and it doesn't sound like much but if you're five mil out here and then you retract this arm up here it's going to move that foot. Remember, that would be sitting on the ground. It's going to try and move it uh, in by about five mil, sliding it on the table. And that's going to put excessive load on some of the servos. And that's one of the issues I've been running into with uh, motors warming up, and that can warp the plastic as well. And then you have to go through and recalibrate everything. By the same token, is also getting our servos in the correct line. So here we've got the wrist here is now 180 degrees, so straight down relative to this. And this one's at 90 degrees as opposed to 180 this way. So they should be in line and, and that's what we're aiming for. With this one, in order to get this pretty close, these shoulder brackets are a little bit um, offline, so to speak, like they're not level. So if I turn this on, actually it's pretty close, 0.3. I'm just gonna switch to the camera itself. And yeah, so you can see there that it's pretty straight down with the laser line and I'm at point two five degrees point two zero degrees it's slipping back and forward and according to the status if I run a status on is my status gone I've actually got to put it in there print legs and it's telling me at the moment my pitch or my roll more importantly is at 0 0.8 degrees so it's pretty close to being spot on i can't get that any closer and the way i did get that calibrated is you can see i've strapped my inclimeter the sony relative move to the leg and then i set going to that front left shoulder turn on our limits uh, how about i show that screen Okay, so you can see here we've got at 90 degrees, we're pretty close to that zero one here, which is going to be level as we move it in. I might be on the inside, I'm hitting something. I'm just going to move that leg forward a little bit. So 
So I've set my max here at 125 degrees. Uh, a little bit of maths and 125 degrees minus 90 for our center position is 35. And I am actually overshooting a little bit there. I'm not sure what the go is there. Uh, what I have found is for some reason if I set that at 35 degrees on the lee, um, I don't get it centered. If I go all the way up, our max is 50, so it'll be outputting 50. And I'm showing 49.35, so I'm getting very close to my 50 at the upper end. Doing that, hitting rest, takes it back to 90. And it's at 1.3 at the moment. So that one's, I don't know if it's the range on the servo or if it's a, an error in the servo positioning. But that's as close as I'm going to get it. And it'll do me for me. Repeatability, uh, there is a little bit of swap in it. Maybe stronger servos might be the better solution for this. So let's just put this back into rest and show a different view. This my pipe and gone. So we've had standing. So I'll go back to stand. I've done wrong. I've got to pass in steps. Now this will take a second optional parameter and that second optional parameter is the time between steps. Right, so it's running around two amps at the moment going for the robot and that's because there is a slight error in one of the legs i haven't quite figured out which one uh, i've broken out my thermal imager uh, which is this device i do have a video when i unbox this one actually works very well and if i leave it like this i can find out which leg is being warm most of them were warming up and i didn't have the calibration right And if I copy in a little bit of code, I go to just say script, which is currently empty. Next to that, we get our robot to a certain position. So this will be all updated in the code shortly, uh, and I'll update it to my robot lab. Oh, sorry, the uh, Spot Micro MRL GitHub, so you'll be able to download all of this as well. From here, I should be able to get back up the stand. By the time you see this video, I should have most of that code uploaded and ready to go. I'm still progressing through. I had issues with uh, one of the movements causing the robot to fall over. Uh, the cause for the robot falling over was in fact um, it had a calibration on the back right servos and yeah the, that was caused by the servo heating up and I think the plastic yielding a little bit so I let it cool down before I uh, calibrated everything again. It's sitting down, it's running around 2.3, 2.2 amps. So that suggests to me that something's still not quite in the right position. <laughs> I lift it up and put it back down again. It's now back down at 0.8. So it is important that we do get those angles all correct. Otherwise, you're putting pressure on the feet and putting pressure on the feet adds loads to the servos. I have actually figured out, so I'm just going to put this into rest.
back a little bit. Get him to stand. Now I have got a little bit of code in there. It's in under foot the foot class, so you activate it using the legs uh, class that we've been doing. And I go leg dot and you don't skip that. You can see the robot moves a little bit and what it's actually done uh, where's my status gone so what we're getting now is the x and the y for the initial center of mass so before it was at uh, 4851 Oh, that's when it was sitting. Uh, it was at, it was pretty close. Y51, that would be more like a rest position. But I've now got it back to uh, minus three millimeters from target and 1.9 millimeters from target. That's centering the mass of the robot. The roll is within half degree, the pitch is less than a degree in error so getting the balance is getting better i'm still not happy with the leveling of the body of the robot so while i've got the center of mass in roughly the right area i haven't got the roll correct yet and i'm still trying to wrap my head around some of the maths for that but you can see my code coming through on a regular basis in the GitHub if you want to download it. Well, that was it for this video. If you like these videos, don't forget to click on like, subscribe, ring that notification bell. It's a form of support that helps the channel a great deal and costs you absolutely nothing. If you'd like to help the channel further, I do have a Patreon account and you can join my patrons Go Lucky, Elmorales45 and White Wolf in helping to support the channel. Um, all my patrons get these videos at least a week early, in most cases, uh, before they're released on YouTube. I also have a Discord channel, so if you've got any questions, feel free to drop in and ask questions there, or you can leave a comment in the video description below, and I'll try and get back to you as soon as I can. Uh, I tend to have a look through the uh, Discord a little more often than I do anything else. And we'll see you in the next video.